हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेटिक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व सो वी आर हेव विद दिस प्रॉब्लम इलेवन ऑफ योर पेपर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज एक्चुअली लीनियर एल जब प्रॉब्लम सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग सब स्पेस ऑफ आर क्यूब सो डब्ल्यू इज डिफाइंड लाइक दिस ओके now what question is asking question is asking us about the dimension of w right so we have a subspace of r cube for which we have to find out the dimension so now let us begin this is this is a easy question nothing much to explain here we can just solve it so okay so what we have see we have this w which consist of those elements from r cube such that they satisfies these three equations right 3x plus 3y minus 2z is 0 and the last one is x plus y minus 3z is 0 so these are the three equation that we have now what result i am going to use i will use directly this result suppose w is a subspace of a vector space v then we say dimension of that subspace is dimension of v minus number of linearly independent restrictions to it okay what is the meaning of restriction the restriction has a important meaning here you are taking elements from r cube but you are not taking every element you are taking element which satisfies these three conditions are you getting my point or not so we can say these three are restriction for an element to enter inside w right so uh we have to find out li restrictions li is also very important linearly independent we have three restrictions but we don't know whether they are linearly independent or not okay it may happen that imposing these two restriction will get us the same w by imposing three restrictions that means this third restriction is a linear combination of two are you getting my point or not so what i was saying that it may happen that imposing just two restriction will get us the same w which we are getting through these three restrictions so what is the meaning of that it means that the two restrictions that we will be using are going to uh, are going to uh, produce this third restriction by itself by just the linear combination of these two right so just we, what we have to do we have to check whether these three equations are ally or not so this question totally now is reduced to the case where we have to check the linearly independentness of these three right so in order to check linearly independentness what we do usually we just write the matrix for it and then just by checking the rank of this matrix the coefficient matrix that we have okay in order to check whether these three are ally or not what we have to do we have to check the rank of this matrix so if we somehow find out the rank for this matrix and uh, we prove that rank is sub let us suppose 2 then we will say that th there are only two ally okay ally equations here so what we will do we will be using uh, just row reduce eclian form here so just first first operation that i will be imposing here <coughs> is just changing interchanging row 1 and row 3 okay so what you will get then you will get 1 1 3 uh 3 3 2 and then you will get 2 2 1 okay now just apply apply r3 tends to r3 minus twice of r1 and r2 tends to r2 minus twice thrice i will say thrice of r1 so what you will get then you will get this 1 1 minus 3 0 0 
so for this one what you are doing you are multiplying thrice so that means nine so you will get seven over here i think uh yes you will get seven then you will get zero zero over here and what you are doing you are twice so you will also get uh seven i think three to the six plus one seven are you getting my point now just subtract these two r3 goes to r3 minus r2 so what you will get you will get this matrix 1 1 minus 3 0 0 7 0 0 0 so what i have proved that rank of this matrix is actually what 2 right okay since we got this 0 so rank is just 2 now since rank is 2 that means how many equations do you have you have only two li equations two li restrictions right so what i was saying earlier was correct that what you can do you can just combine these two things in such a way that you will get this one okay so just okay so how will you combine you will just subtract second equation okay from this okay sorry you will just subtract first equation from second equation then you will get uh, this one are you getting my point so now what will be the dimension dimension of v what is dimension of v what is v v is your r cube that means three how many restrictions do you have two that means what will be the dimension dimension will be one okay you got my point so b is your correct answer so this is how we can actually proceed with these kind of question they are very easy you have to just calculate and then you will end up with your correct result right so thank you